tell me a little bit about your journey starting ultrasound. Why did you want to get into ultrasound? So I didn't want to get into ultrasound, or at least I didn't know I wanted to get into ultrasound. I thought I wanted to do nursing, and then I found out that it wasn't for me. And then since I'd already been working in the, in the medical field, um, it, like at hospitals doing admin and billing and that sort of thing, I knew I wanted more patient interaction. So I researched some different careers that I could do that wasn't nursing. And okay. I came across ultrasound. I never looked back after that. Never looked back after? Yeah. So I knew ultrasound. I knew exactly, it took a long time, but I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Now, once you decided ultrasound and not nursing, um, what made you actually pick ultrasound? What interests you about it? I, I felt like ultrasound was very similar to nursing in the sense that we get to interact with patients. And then the, the salary was, you know, kind of up there as well so um, I also have a heart murmur I was born with a murmur and I have to keep getting echoes every six months so b being exposed to that myself I was like okay I think this is something that I would really appreciate and I could do and patients um, would be very grateful for whatever I can do for them so I, I thought it would be rewarding as well okay Okay. What um, starting ultrasound? What were the requirements to get in for you? So, well, I had to have my English, um, like my all my prereqs, like English, math, anatomy, physiology, like that kind of stuff. So I actually I had my AA before going into the program already. Okay. And then how long is your program? Two years two years. Now, is it just you? Are you single or do you have a family going through the program? I actually have a family. We have two kids and a husband at home. And who helps you with the kids? My mom does. Your mom. But you find you, I don't think I'd be able to do ultrasound like school without help. Like I know that when I went for my interview at school, they stressed that like a whole lot. And I was like, why do they care so much? And then the program is very demanding, long hours. You have to put in the time to study and pass your exams. So now I understand it. Like, if I didn't have the support, I would not be able to get through it. So if you didn't have support, you wouldn't? I don't think so. Like, I don't think I would be able to just mm -hmm. entrust my children with just anybody. Right. So having my mom there to help me out has been huge. Okay. Yeah, so sure. family. Yeah, definitely. How's your husband feeling about it? Does it take away from him? It does. And, and he doesn't really like it at times, but I always tell him that this is temporary, you know, and it'll, you know, we'll see like the rewards down the road. So it can be very frustrating. I know when I got done with didactic, because when, when I was doing the didactic portion of the program, I, I was at school the whole day. And then I still had to come home and study and do homework. So it's like, I spent a lot of hours just doing ultrasound, you know? The amount of time that I had for my family was minimal. Like I barely get home and cook and then that was pretty much all I did. So laundry was done like on the weekends and it was hard to juggle at times. Like I really felt like I was um, not doing anything fully, like not ultrasound, not family, like, I was having to cut myself in little pieces to like kind of just juggle everything. Um, but um, once the jacket got done, the kids were super excited because I promised them that I would have the time to actually take them to the park, do more things with them. You know, How old are your kids? They're 10 and, wait, no, 9 and 7. 9 and 7. <laughs> 9 and 7. How old were they when you started? Um, so what, 6 and 8? Mm -hmm. They were, you know, because I started the program. Um, even though this journey's been long, like I, I've only been in the program for about a year right now and a, and a few months uh -huh. um, with the didactic. Because yeah. even though it's two years, you do like some of the prereqs that they require, because some of them they won't take. So okay. I had to like retake some of the ones that they didn't take for my college okay. online. Could you have went to that school if you didn't have an AA or a BA? Um, no, 
I don't think so, because those requirements eventually add up to like at least an AA. Okay. So I don't. I actually I'm not. That's a really good question. I just think that because of the way that they make it with the prereqs, you're in college. You can get those prereqs probably without your AA. But if you're only like two or three classes from getting your A, so that's what I did. I was like, okay, I only need two more two more classes. Let me just finish up and get my A. Right, right. Yeah. Smart, very smart. Now, do you feel that your school has equipped you for going into the ultrasound field? I think that honestly, giving given the number of students that we had, like they were doing their best. How many? Like, we had 17. 17 we students. didn't start out with 17. I think we started out with 20. In your program? In our program, I think. And so now we're down to 17. Okay. Yeah. And so they're doing the best that they can with the yeah. amount of students. Yeah, because that's a huge, like, that's a, a big group of students. True. Or ultrasound. True. Normally they do like 12. Yeah. Yeah. Or half right. of that. Right. Do you feel that you're able to, after you finish your externship, do you feel that you'll be confident enough to go into a full-time job and work and work independently? So I have my own issues with confidence. That's my personal thing, though. I think that there may be other students in the program that would feel confident going in and working independently. I think that I am going to be there once I'm done with my clinical rotations. Okay. Because I do feel a lot more confident than I did starting clinicals, for sure. Yeah. Um, I'm starting to see that everybody does things differently. Every tech does things differently. So once I have my own job, then I can do what suits me and what works for me, um, as long as the radiologist is okay with it. Yeah. So I think I'll get there. Do you feel that, um, does injury scare you? In this field? No, that's not something that I've been thinking about. Like, I haven't been giving it a lot of thought. Um, but yeah, especially like I feel like when I'm doing like a breast, you're having to do anti radio, radio, anti radio, radio. And like, once I'm done, I'm like, oh my gosh, like my hand is, you know, hurting. And <clears throat> I haven't been doing a lot of OB lately um, because of the site I'm at right now. But I think that's one of the things that is going to cause a lot of strain on my arm is the OB scans. OB scans. Because you're going to have to, you know, like maneuver all yeah. kinds of ways yeah. with your probe. Yes. Um, that's very true. Um, that's a big possibility. You just have to find your comfort zone and uh, allow your body to manipulate the probe and the patient, like, so you won't have that injury. So ergonomics is huge find a good seat find your positioning and everything that will work for you after your didactic and now you're into your externship do you feel that your externship sites are allowing you to grow and have equipped you more so for sure yeah just put your priorities straight like, don't get intimidated. I know that, like, the amount of money that it, it costs nowadays to do the program can sound intimidating. But, like I mentioned earlier, you're going to pay that off, and then, you know, you're going to be able to work for the rest of your life doing ultrasound if that's what you like, and it'll be worth it. Awesome. Yeah. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>